Morning, everyone. Steve Georgie here from Allendale's Trading Floor. It's May 21st. Uh, we got the markets trying to find some kind of a recovery today, being led mostly by the beans. Uh, beans, as you remember from yesterday, we went up July, tested $15, went just above it, 1501 uh, And November uh, took out that 1255 by just a few cents uh, and then proceeded to sell off. Well, beans holding some support today. Uh, we went down, tested that trend line yesterday uh, near the close uh, for old crop beans. Um, so we have seen some, some technical selling once we met those highs. Question is, are we going to hold that today for beans? Really, when you look at corn, uh, beans, and wheat, beans are the only ones that really haven't broken that uptrend yet. Corn certainly has, and so has, uh, so has the wheat market. So uh, watch for that. Uh, there is still... Uh, questions out there of, of demand um, when you look at export sales that are going to be coming out tomorrow very hard to think that we're going to get a lot of purchases here uh, specifically for beans and wheat uh, Brazil beans right now are sitting at about fifty dollars discount to the US so uh, but we do have China's crush numbers that are very good uh, and so will that turn back on that demand machine and are we going to see demand uh, for these beans once again. Well, we know how tight exports are uh, in, in the whole grand scheme of things for beans this year. Um, and there is a reason why we're sitting $50 more than, uh, than Brazil. So we don't have a lot of beans here domestically. Uh, as far as the wheat, as I mentioned, uh, exports there, there's talks uh, that Russia had offered uh, $50 a ton cheaper than U.S. Uh, delivery into Iraq. So are we going to continue to see the fire sale uh, for wheat out of the Black Sea regions, uh, Ukraine and Russia? Uh, and that's going to really weigh on our exports as far as wheat as well. Uh, so not expecting big exports there for tomorrow uh, either. Looking at weather, uh, going into the next five to seven days looks very good. We had some storms move through just certain areas uh, of the, uh, the upper Midwest yesterday. Uh, but overall, temperatures are to warm up. Uh, we're going to see a good stretch here uh, for farmers to get planted, and that's going to be the primary focus, and I, I think that's going to uh, probably continue to put some pressure here on corn as well as beans, And um, but something to keep in, uh, keep in mind. We should have a good uh, planting progress uh, for next week as we get through Memorial Day. Uh, looking at livestock, cattle right now up $0.05, cents, but very good box beef choice up 301 select up 149 that's putting a packer break even at 142.64. So no cash sales yet this week, uh, but a dollar lower right now as far as cash sales will probably be neutral for futures. Uh, if we see steady cash trade this week, that's going to be looked at probably a little friendly yet for cattle at these levels. Uh, hogs up 135 um, right now, so cutout values though kind of leading the charge there up 204. Uh, for cutout values, 116.71. Question is, have we finally put a cash bottom in right now, uh, and are we going to uh, see some, well, see this turn uh, and that rally that we've been expecting as we go into the summer? So continue to watch that, though. It just seems like every day we see a strong move like that for cutouts. They tend to take it back the next day, but uh, we'll see if we can keep this uh, uh, keep this upswing going. Stock market up 50 points after a decline that we saw yesterday. Um, gold down two bucks, silver down two cents, and the dollar right now is up about six. So hope you guys have a great day today. If you guys have any questions at all, give me a call, 800-262-7538, uh, or check us out on the web at allendale-inc.com. Hope you guys have a great day, and we'll talk to you again tomorrow morning.